Hey guys, welcome back to Soap Martin's channel. Hold on, hold on, don't click out. You're still in the right channel, okay? In case you are meeting me for the first time, my name is Mr. Ike Chuku, as fondly called by my wife. But don't mind that woman. Let me give you an expo. I prefer IK or Martins. And I'm sure most of you will be wondering, where is that brown hair woman today? How come this man is sitting alone today? Well, I had to keep her in the other room where she belongs. Man. <laughs> don't mind me, man. Well, I've been wanting to talk about this um, particular topic. Well, there's more of an advice to the special needs dads out there, you know, this is dedicated to the special needs dads out there, more of an advice and a message to them. Well, way back 2017, when I started my journey with my, uh, when we started our journey with Enzo, our special needs child, there's one significant thing I noticed, and that's the absence of the special needs dads and the whole um, journey. In the hospital, in the wards, I noticed that most times I was the only um, dad coming around. You know, I was there for, my son was there for almost one month. And I noticed that 90%, 90% of the dads were not coming around. Why? I guess I was wondering, what was the problem? Why are the dads not being supported? Anytime I come around, the mothers in the wards are always looking at me like I'm one spirit or one for that Christmas or maybe I was doing something weird. But I never realized until one day, in, um, one of the women was saying she was going to leave her child and abscond. I asked her why. She said that she has been abandoned here. She and her child has been abandoned in the hospital. The dad doesn't come around. He even went as far as, you know, denying the child, calling the woman a witch. She said even the in-laws are calling her a witch, that she knows where she got that child from, that that child is not for their son. You know, which was so disheartening, and I felt so bad for the woman as in. So many other stories which I can't say. To cut the sh story short, I've noticed that most special needs dads don't rise up to the occasion. They are never there. I know some of us might be busy, but how about you can't be too busy for your family? You can't be too busy for your family. You have to come out. You have to support your wife, support your kids. They need you. The presence of a man matters in everything. If you're out there, the way the doctors will even treat your children will be different. Their attention is going to be different. You understand what I mean? They'll pay more attention to your kids when you're there. It's not only about money. I know some of some people just give that, um, uh, provide cash and, you know, go back and sleep. I don't know what the problem is. Are the men shy? Oh, you don't want to own up to your responsibility? You don't want to be associated with the special needs child? You're feeling too big and too pompous to be tagged the special needs dad? Come on, guys. We need to rise up to the occasion. We need to support our wives. They need a shoulder to lean on in, in, such, in, in such times. In such situation, when your wife turns and sees you by her side, it gives her that strength to march on. But when she looks and she sees that she's alone, she goes into depression. I know how it was for my wife in the early days. My wife was almost giving up. She was acting suicidal. She was so depressed. I was not asking myself, what if I wasn't there for her? What would have happened? I'm not sure my wife would have made it, honestly. She wouldn't be here with me by now. So guys, please, 
Let's support our wives. Let's support our kids. You can't be too busy. How about you can't? Guys, come out. Come out. Support your wives. Support your children. Don't leave them all alone. They need you. They need us. It's not about money. Everything is not about money. Your presence matters. They need your moral support. Your wives need your moral support. You can't just stay in the background and be doing, uh, because you, you, you be guy mad. You be buga. What has happened has happened. They are your kids. You're your special specialist dad, whether you like it or not. Some people even go as far as locking their kids up in a room. When you come to their house, you will know they have a special needs child. They will lock the kid up. It's very bad. Own up to your responsibility. These kids are a blessing in disguise, if you don't know. Show them love. Come out for them. Come all out. Even in my kids' school, the special needs school, it's the same thing. You hardly see the special needs dads coming out. There's always the mom, the mom, the mom, the mom, the mom, doing everything, running up and down, carrying kids. Some of these kids can't even walk on their own. This has to stop. Come on, guys. Let's give these women that support they need, for sure. So, I believe I've put the message across to you guys. It has been bothering me for a very long time now. And right now, I think my, I'm feeling lighter now. My, my, my heart is no longer heavy. So please, guys, let's support our wives. Let's support them morally. Let's be there for them physically. On this note, I'll, call, I'll, I'll put an end to this video. I got to go, guys. And please don't forget to like, comment, share, and most importantly, subscribe. Support this channel, Sub Martins. Thank you very much. Adios.